channel. I'm so excited for today's video because it's my first DIY video and it's all spring inspired. Hence the spring headband and the little daisy little sweater thin sweater that I found guess where at Walmart and it was on clearance too. I was eyeing it not too long ago, I went in there to get a couple groceries and I saw it from a distance and I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. Then I saw the price, I think it was almost $20 and I didn't want to spend $20 on it. And then I just happened to pop in the other day and it was on clearance for $11. So springy, but I have a table here full of craft um, supplies and I'm so excited because today we're going to be making a spring wreath that I want to hang on my pantry door. That way it just kind of freshens up the space with a nice springy wreath and then we're going to be doing um, some DIY candle decor so I bought some candles and we're going to paint little flowers on them just to kind of again spruce up our little home and then our last final DIY is going to be a water can that I bought at Home Goods. it was for $24.99 and it's just a plain white watering can and I decided let me break out with my little paint supply and we're gonna go ahead and paint like little butterflies and little flowers just dainty little flowers and butterflies to give it a little bit of a springy touch and again I'm no Picasso but I look at it like I didn't want to pay $30, $40 for a can that was already, you know, painted and had designs on it. I, go, I might as well do my own and at the same time, just add my little touch. So I'm going to give you an overview of what I have and everything that I bought here, guys, was from Dollar Tree and Walmart. The bulk of it was from Dollar Tree, but I'm all about doing projects with very little money and making the best of what we have. So, you know, I am this bargain shopper. I love it. And everything that I have here is super affordable. And I'm gonna give you an overview of what we have that way. Hopefully it inspires you guys to do this. So um, and if you do do it, leave me a comment. Uh, so I know how it turned out. If not, leave me a little emoji of a flower. But let's go ahead and see what we have here. That way we can get working on our crafts and just enjoy a nice, I don't know, like, DIY day outside and I didn't want to do it inside the house because I right now I can live outside because the weather is so amazing so yeah let me show you what I have okay we're gonna need some fishing twine and these are just my kitchen shears but all these little flowers here that I have and here's just kind of an overview of all the things that I have here but all these little flowers here believe it or not they were from Dollar Tree Look how cute they are. And then this wreath here, I bought it for like $5 and change at Walmart. They did have one at Dollar Tree, but it was a little bit on the smaller side. So it was smaller than this. So I decided to get this one because it looked a little bit more full of the twine. So that was like $5 and change. And then this moss here that we're gonna add onto the wreath was also from Walmart. And this was $3, I believe, a bag. Floral from Dollar Tree. These candles that we're going to paint, Dollar Tree. These candle holders, I bought them on Amazon around the holidays. So um, I'm going to try to link everything in my description box that I can. That way, if you guys are interested in buying any of these items, you know where to find them. And then my watering can that I bought from Home Goods and my little paint set here and actually this little organized little thing that we put together is all from Dollar Tree these little gold um, baskets are from Dollar Tree this peel and stick paper Dollar Tree and all we did was cut some cardboard and stick it on there that way nothing fell through it that little thing that I put together all from Dollar Tree and water um, acrylic paint Dollar Tree no, I, I take that back. Acrylic paint is from Walmart, and these little things for the paint is from Walmart. And that's it, guys. That's all we're really going to need. And it's going to be a day full of crafts, and we're going to have lots of fun together. And again, I'm going to do my best um, to try to link everything in the description box of all the supplies. But... 
Guys, don't skimp out on the dollar store. You would be amazed how much stuff you guys could find for your home at the dollar store instead of overspending elsewhere. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do splurge as well on other items for my home, but anytime that I can find something at the dollar store, I'm there. Enough chit chat, now it's time to get ready to do some crafts and enjoy this beautiful weather. I have finished adding the uh, Spanish moss on the wreath and all I did was lay um, the Spanish moss on top of the wreath and I tied it with um, fishing twine. That way, when I go to add the flowers and insert them between the vines, um, I, I have a little bit more support between the vines and the fishing twine. So just so you know, this is what it looks like without the flowers. Spanish moss is on there, nicely secured. And now we're gonna go ahead and add the flowers onto the wreath. And all I'm gonna do is cut these guys off from here. Let me show you. Cut them here. And then once I cut the flowers out, I'm just gonna stick them in around the wreath. And honestly, guys, I've seen them at the stores. A simple wreath like this goes for like $20, something this small. And I knew I could make this myself for under 10 bucks. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the flowers now. Okay guys, here is what I have cut now off the um, little sprigs, flower sprigs. This is how much I cut. If I need more, I'll cut more, but I think this should do it. And again, I just have a little bit of, a little bit of each of all the florals and all the little floral stems that I bought. So now we're gonna go ahead and stick them in here and make a beautiful wreath. Let's see it all come together. so much better than what I thought it was gonna turn out I'm ecstatic and I can't wait to put it on my pantry door guys get out there go to your local Dollar Tree and make yourself your own wreath and don't spend all that money out there because you can do this yourself if I can do it trust me you guys can do it and there is the wreath is that not the cutest so we're gonna hang this on my pantry door once we're done with all our little projects, but I love it. And honestly, this cost me less than $10. On to the next DIY, we're gonna go ahead and paint our candles. It's our next DIY is our little candles here. I love like dainty things and the look of dainty, daintiness or <laughs> if that's a word, but all I'm gonna do here is put some little flowers throughout the, um, all over the candle just to give them a little spring touch. And then I'm gonna put these on my dining room table. 
And again, these candles are from Dollar Tree, but you can get any candles you like. These candle holders, again, I got this from the, around the holidays and I ordered this from Amazon. If I can find them, I will link them if that's something that you're interested in. Let's get to painting these candles. Okay, my cheeks are turning red. It's getting a little warm out here, but oh my gosh, these candles are so cute. Guys, I didn't know I had it in me. I am like on a high right now. This is so therapeutic. I, you know what? I might be doing a lot more of this stuff on this channel because who knew that DIYs are just so, so therapeutic. But let me show you the candles. They look so dainty and cute. Look how cute. That's just a little touch of spring on our dining table. And these candles came from Dollar Tree. I love it. I'm just saying guys, Picasso may have a run for his money. <laughs> no, but they are so, so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. And then I'm gonna, after I do that other one, we're gonna move on to the next project or the next DIY, but Oh my gosh, I am like in heaven right now. Between the wreath and the candles, this was a perfect Sunday well spent. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other candle. I don't know if I should do the same color. No, I'm gonna do the same color. So um, yeah, so let me go ahead and finish that one up. candles are done look at that is that not gorgeous so cute and so easy and fun to make that is so much fun i definitely will be doing a lot more diys with you guys and you guys better tune in because you guys have to tell me if it's something that you like or you don't like so it is getting a little cloudy back here but we have one more to do and I think I can get it done before it starts to rain. And if it does, you know what? We'll enjoy the April showers, but we're gonna paint our watering can. And like I said, I bought it at Home Goods for $24.99 and I'm just gonna zhuzh it up a little bit and style it and put some dainty flowers and possibly some butterflies. I'm not sure how these butterflies are gonna turn out, but we'll see. So we'll get that watering can back there and gonna go ahead and style it now. Do something similar to those candles, but yes. Look at my little craft table. I'm in awe right now. I, this was such, this is so fun. I'm gonna do this more often. That is definitely, definitely on my to-do this year. Okay, up next 
is this beautiful guys let me tell you this sucker here holds a lot of water i think this was such a good purchase now obviously it gets heavy um the more water you have in it but it holds tons of water which i can get a lot of plants watered at one time i i, I really do love this watering can i think it was a great buy we just need to make it a little bit more pretty and springy just finished painting the watering can and let me tell you it turned out so precious i'm in love i'm in love with everything that i did today and i'm telling you for something so simple i mean i didn't want anything like in your face just something very very simple and dainty where it just has a little touch of spring and nothing says spring like butterflies but something so simple with what i did was they were charging you a lot at the store and I just said, you know what, I can do that myself. And I'm glad that I did because it just turned out so cute. So let me show you what the um, can the watering can looks like. And here you go. See, it's just little, little butterflies throughout the watering can. I was gonna add flowers, but I was like, no, let me just stick to butterflies. That's this side and then I painted the other side. See, and now it's just cute. So, now you know that I'm telling you guys, if I can do this, you guys can do this. I am no Picasso or like this crafty, crafty girl. I mean, I just kind of like looked it up a little bit on Pinterest, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with it. Go with the flow. If it turns out bad, well, so be it. But I'm so I'm so proud of myself. It's so cute. So I am gonna go hang my wreath 
and place my candles. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I just wanna let you know that you don't need a lot of money to decorate your home. I always look for sales and bargain shop and find just inexpensive ways to add decor to my home. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go hang my wreath, place my candles, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.